it. All right, you've heard all the bad news about the housing market, the foreclosure fiasco creating so many problems, but also some opportunities for some people, especially if you're patient, really, really patient. Consumer advocate Amy Wegman has more on that. You hear a lot about this short sale, short sale, short sale. So I'm glad you're talking about it. Tonight. Yeah, actually, I didn't realize until I started working on this story that there are just as many short sales in Cape Coral as there are foreclosures, in fact, for all of Southwest Florida. Well, what, if, what would you think if I told you out of the 4,800 homes for sale right now just in Cape Coral, 2,600 of those, that's more than half, are short sales. That's when people try to sell their home before they go into foreclosure. It's true, there are some deals out there, but also some key things that you need to know if you're looking at buying a short sale. I'm going to break it down for you in this Four in Your Corner Consumer Watch. With a real estate sign out front, this home looks like a normal sell. It's not. It's a short sale, something broker Chris Canzano sees a lot of. Typically what happens is, is the owner of the property uh, will get behind on their payments. They'll call the lender and say, I can't afford the home any longer, the payments are too much. After proving the owner really is in financial trouble, the home goes on the market. But getting what it's worth or what the owner bought it for is a stretch, so? The banks are willing to discount the outstanding loan balance uh, because of the current market conditions in order to get that property sold. Translation, the home is sold at a reduced price, meaning if you're a buyer, there are deals to be found. Take this short sale, for example. You'll notice large 18-inch tile, high-profile baseboard molding.